Well, let me ask you this, because right now we're showing some live pictures of what's taking place in Brazil right now. Um, as you know, and we've been reporting all afternoon here on CNN, pro-Bolsonaro uh, supporters, uh, supporters of the former President Jair Bolsonaro, have stormed into various government buildings uh, in that country's capital. It looks like a replay of January 6th, uh, this time in Brazil. Um, as you know, Congressman, uh, I mean, you just have to look at the scenes on our on our screens right now. And we've been playing some of these screens earlier or some of these images earlier today. One of these pro Bolsonaro supporters was sitting at a desk inside uh, the Capitol uh, in uh, Brasilia in Brazil. And it looked like a scene right out of January 6th. What are your thoughts as, as this is taking place today? Well, Bolsonaro is, was an authoritarian leader and I stand with the democratically elected leadership in Brazil. And he basically used the Trump playbook to inspire domestic terrorists to try to take over the government. And you're right, it looks a lot like January 6th in the United States. And right now, Bolsonaro is in Florida and he's actually very close to, to Donald Trump. Uh, he should be extradited to Brazil. In fact, uh, it was reported that he was under investigation for corruption and fled Brazil to the United States. He's a dangerous man. They should send him back to his home country, Brazil. And so if I'm uh, gathering what you're saying, Congressman, are you calling on the Biden administration or authorities in Florida to uh, return Bolsonaro, put him on a plane and send him to Brazil uh, as soon as possible? Yes, absolutely. Uh, Bolsonaro should not be in Florida. This, the United States should not be a refuge for this authoritarian uh, who has inspired domestic terrorism in Brazil. He should be sent back to Brazil.